How come that you became so knowledgeable on Bosnian war? From <laughs> from where this came from? <laughs> well, I I um I you know I felt a great responsibility. It was I was uh, I was a teenager, and as I've grown up and gone to many parts of the world, this was one that I felt nobody spoke enough about. This was such a an important time for our world history. What happened here? The fact that the international community turned its back and, and okay. abandoned these people for, for so long mm -hmm. um, it was is, is such a is such a crime and something we shall be ashamed of and learn from and that we must we must um, show respect and and and, and remember um, and I also feel the the themes of the film are universal to so many issues happening today and so I think um, uh, but when I started to learn and I started to research I fell in love with with the area and I fell um, I, I was so inspired by the survivors, and I think it's such an extraordinary country. And so I read a lot of books, I watched a lot of documentaries, I met with a lot of people, and, and then when the cast came together, they all had their own personal experiences and they taught me. And so I just listened and I listened and I listened and I, um, and I just care so deeply. And so I think that, I hope that that scene in the film that, um, that I really, I really wanted to try to to get it right, and I really came from that, and I learned so much. I just feel extremely moved and extremely uh, connected to the people here, and I'm, and I'm very, very grateful. I worked so hard to, to try to make a what I felt was a good film, but also a film that I know was going to be so hard for people watching here because it is their history and it's such a painful time in their history, and of course to do an inter an artistic interpretation of something of somebody's life. You feel uh, you can never do somebody enough justice, so you do your best, but you hope, you hope that you do good, and you hope you do enough, and you hope you did it right. And so, I was terrified. I didn't, I didn't know if I should go back after the movie. I said, I don't think I should go back out, because maybe they'll be angry. Maybe they'll, you know, I don't. Uh, so I was, I was afraid to go back. When you compare your directing and your acting experiences, which one you like better? Directing. But I don't know if it's because uh, of the, just being, it's not, I, I'm quite sure it's not about being a director, it's that I happen to direct a film about something I love and care deeply about and I got to work with people who taught me so much about life and, and watching this cast from all sides come together and become a family was so symbolic of everything that was lost uh, during this war and so I was moved by them and, and they're just extraordinary artists so it's also been fun for me to have people in Hollywood and New York mm -hmm. talk about what talented artists there are from, from this part of the world. And so I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, actually, we are now 20 years away from war and we are sitting in Holiday Inn. And this morning you bring together famous war journalists who were covering, international journalists who were covering war. What was the aim of that meeting? <laughs> well, you know, I had never, it, this was such a unique, when I was doing press for this film and I met with um, Tom and Christian Amapur and uh, just every time I sit with somebody that covered this war, you realize how much this war changed them. It changed the way they viewed war, changed the way they viewed reporting. Um, they're all, they all fell in love with this part of the world, but they also were very frustrated um, and, uh, and, uh, and very emotional. It's the first time I'd ever done interviews where I realized that it wasn't, it's not about interviewing me, it's about the person interviewing me knows more, is more connected, um, and this is very real for them. This was a part of their lives as well, and, and everybody really wants to see um, better things happen in this country. So I felt if we could all come together and sit around a table together and talk about the experiences and, and all that we have in common, but also start to work towards projects together and advise each other and listen to each other then to me this meeting we had this morning was the beginning of I think I think uh, you know this group we can continue to meet we should continue to meet and we can do a lot of good things together